Good morning, you too, family. Good morning. God has done it once again. That's right. He has given us another day, another opportunity to give him the praise and the glory. And I am so happy and thankful. And right before we start this video, you guys, I ask that you guys hit that like button, comment down below. There is power in the name of Jesus. And last but not least, I ask that you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet, because God is doing great things in our life. And this morning, by the title, you guys, there is power in the name of Jesus. I believe that whatever we go through in life, if we call on the name of Jesus, Every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that he is Lord. No matter what you're going through in this season, no matter if you've been sick this year, no matter if you've been struggling with things in life, let me tell you something. When you call on the name of Jesus, everything must come together. Everything that's been holding you back has to break loose. Every chain must be broken when you declare and decree. We serve a good God, a God that can do all things, a God that can change your life for the better. And he gave us the ability that we, as believers in him, we can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens us. You know, a lot of people are wondering, what's going to make America um, better? How can we change this situation? I'll tell you how we can change it. Once we start putting Jesus first. Once we start putting Jesus first, that's when things will change. But I'm, I guarantee you right now, if you put Jesus first, you will see the change. In the Bible here, I have 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. It says, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. Heal their land. We must humble ourselves, continue to pray, continue to seek God. Make sure that you have a personal relationship with God. With everything going on in the world today, we have to hold on to God's unchanging hands. No matter what you're going through, no matter what you've been through. I know people, I'm depressed, I have depression, and I have this. Guess what? That is nothing but a, a spirit that wants to kill you. We have to start putting Jesus before everything, no matter what you're going through. Yes, depression is real, but guess what? So was our Father in heaven. So was our Father in heaven. You have to rebuke that spirit. God didn't give us a spirit of fear. We can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens us. As long as you trust in him, as long as you seek him, God will hear your prayers. Do God hear our prayers? Of course God hears our prayers, but we have to humble ourselves. We have to turn away from our evil ways. We have to put away those sinful thoughts because guess what? We serve a God that loves us. And he said in his word that he will never leave us, nor will he forsake us. So let me tell you something. There is power in the name of Jesus. Try him. Have faith. Call on the name of Jesus. And I guarantee you, your life will change. Right before we end this video, let's give it to God in prayer. Heavenly Father, we come saying thank you. Thank you, Father God, for another day. Father God, I ask right now that you touch each and every individual that is watching this video. Father God, I ask right now that you heal them. Father God, I ask right now that you show them the way that you 
Give them, Father God, understanding of your word. Father God, I ask right now that you remove anything that's distracting them from getting closer to you, Father God. We thank you for what you're doing. We thank you for what you're getting ready to do. Father God, we ask right now that you order our steps. Father God, we thank you for life. We thank you for holding us. Father God, we thank you for carrying us through these do this year, Father God. We give you the praise and we give you the glory, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and thank God. Know that there is power in the name of Jesus. Trust and believe. I'm a living witness that there is power in the name of Jesus. Remember, plant the seed and you shall receive your blessings, your breakthroughs from Jesus Christ. Like I always say, if God loves me, he loves you. He loves us all. Until next time, you guys, be blessed.